I, before getting Scorpion King, I was on a show called Martial Law with Sammo Hung, and I hadn't worked in a year. It was a year since I had been able to book anything. And when Scorpion King came around, the, um, at first, when I auditioned for the casting people, they were like, okay, thanks, it's not gonna move on from here. You know, I, but I had amazing agents and managers who persisted and said, okay, well, let's try to go around them and see if we can get directly to the producers and director and whatnot. And so I had a meeting with um, the director and he loved me. And um, they were not looking for Asian. Every girl in the world seemed to be going up for this role. There were girls who had never acted before who were like, you know, um, Sports Illustrated swimsuit models and Victoria's Secret models. And I'm like, great, this is what I'm up against. Um, and then there were, you know, just like, Actresses, you know, very who were who were very prominent, and you know, who had done lots and lots of work, um, and so the casting call was just enormous. It was huge. Um, I went in and auditioned six times before I was told I got the role. Uh, I screen tested twice um, in full costume and everything. I mean, in when I screen tested. I literally had to go in for fittings and makeup tests and everything uh, and they made special clothing, you know, just for our screen test, you know, like the chain mail and, and all that stuff. Um, and, um, and it was a grueling process, you know, I mean, I guess six times is, doesn't seem like much for, for, for such an enormous role. but but all the stress of it in between. And you know, it, it's not like six times back to back. I mean, there was a long wait in between. So yeah, it was pretty grueling for me. Well, are you gonna try to kill me or just stare at me? Uh, it was, it was altogether an amazing experience. You know, it was the first time that I had the lead role in a tentpole film. Um, and, and just to be able to, to have that experience, to be treated like a queen, <laughs> it really was amazing. I mean, there were people whose job it was to hold an umbrella over me so that I didn't get too much sun in between shots. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous. You know, um, it, it gives you like a, a real sort of a, a sense of like grandeur, I guess, when you're like number one and number two on the call sheet. Oh, Dwayne was amazing. You know, it was, it was his first really big film. I mean, he did The Mummy before that, but he had just a very small role. And this was really um, what helped launch him into this tiny little career that he's got now. Um, but he is—he was fantastic. You know, he's—he's he's got this kind of charisma that 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 young children, you know, love him. Grandmothers love him, and everybody in between. Uh, he's just a likable, likable guy. Like nobody hates him. He's amazing. <laughs>